Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing great today. In today's video, we want to continue our practice with user profile. Now, in our previous lesson, we briefly introduced what user profile is all about and then we did one example. So today we want to take it a step further. Specifically, we want to look at the password verify function, right? So very quickly, let's head up to our lab environment. You can see that I'm already logged in as the sys user. And as usual, I would want to execute the show con underscore name to be sure which container I'm currently logged on to, right? So you can see that I am in the pluggable database, which is where we want to do all our practice. Okay, so I just clean this. Now, um, if you are not in the pluggable database, for instance, if you are if you're in the root container, you could run this command, alter session set container equal to ORCL PDB or equal to whatever pluggable database you have, right? So very important, I want to execute this query. So we'll see, it says select all from DBA underscore object where object underscore name like verify and object underscore type is equal to function, right? So let me quickly execute this. I want to see all the password functions or password verify function that we have. So you can see from our output that we have different types of password verify function. Now, if you see this one, we have the aura12c underscore verify underscore function. We have the verify underscore function underscore 11g. We have the verify underscore function. We have the aura12c underscore strong underscore verify underscore function. Okay, and then we have the aura12c underscore stig underscore verify underscore function. Now, all of these are password verification functions but then um each of them has their own level of complexity for instance if you want to use this some of the features in this particular function states that uh, you must have maybe two capital letters in your password mix and then small letters you must have um numbers you must you must have characters you must have this you must have that so sometimes this could be too complex. However, a moderately complex password function to be used is the aura12c underscore verify underscore function. So very quickly, let me just explain to you the parameters or the requirements in this function. You know, now the password must contain no fewer than eight characters and must include at least one numeric and one alphabetic character. And then the password must not be the same as the username or a reserved name. The password must not be the same as the database name. The password must not contain words such as Oracle. So you cannot create a password like Oracle 123 or Oracle 2023. You can't do that. The password must be different from your previous password by at least eight characters. The password must contain at least one special character. So if you assign this function to any profile and assign that profile to any user, the user must comply with the requirements of this password verification function, right? So that's why I actually queried this data dictionary. So we'll get to see the list of functions that we have so very quickly, let me try to create a, a profile and then assign this function to that profile and assign the profile to a user and we see what happens. So I'll quickly clear this. Now I'm creating this profile, create profile, lab underscore prof, limit password underscore verify underscore function. So I'm passing the parameters of this aura12c underscore verify underscore function to the password verification function. I hope you understand what I'm trying to do here. So let me create this profile. I quickly execute. And it shows that profile lab underscore prof created 
successfully, right? So let's confirm, select all from DBA underscore profiles where profile is equal to lab underscore prof. Let me clean this and execute this. So you can see the profile details, right? Now, um, if you look at it, lab underscore profile, password verify function, you see that this particular function has been assigned to it. And then all these ones you are seeing as default, 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 it means it will take its value from the default profile, right? Okay, so let's go on and then see how it goes. Let me clear this. Now, I want to try to create a user, okay? Create user, lab user identified by Ebony, and then we'll assign that profile. If I try to create this user, I will receive an error. And I'll tell you why the error will occur. So let me try to execute this. Now you can see that I have an error. What's the error? It says password verification for the specified password failed. Password length less than eight bytes. So I told you earlier that the features of this password verification function is that you must have eight characters and some other things that I listed. So this password here, create user, lab user identified by Ebony. You can see it's less than eight characters. It does not have numbers. It does not have any special characters. So that's why I'm receiving this error. Okay, let me try this second one again. At least this one is up to eight characters. So let me try and see. But trust me, I will receive error again. I execute this and I'm getting the same error. It said password verification for the specified password failed. Password must contain one or more special characters. Are you seeing now, because I've assigned that password verification function to the profile that is assigned to the user, if we don't meet the requirement, the password requirements, we will not be able to create this user. This is what happens when you try to fill a form and create a password, maybe online, and then they tell you your password is too weak. Use a strong password. It's because of functions like this, right? Okay, so let's try the the other one, this last one, I guess this one will go through because, I'm um, sorry, let me just clean this, because we have a special character, right? So if we execute this, you can see the user, lab user has been created successfully. Guys, so this is how this whole thing works. So you can decide to grant create session to the user or not, right? Grant succeeded. So guys, this is just a brief, example to show you how the password verification function works. I hope this video was interesting to you. If it was, kindly like it and share it widely. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out whenever I upload another valuable content. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.